Okay, let's see here. Um, this is Catherine Phelps, and this is Stephen Hart. He, he plays the bull elephant Zakum in Herd of Elephants. And he is a long time actor, and he teaches acting. Yes, yes, I do. I coach actors, uh, teach acting, and teach well-being within acting as well. Oh, cool. What would it be? Such a demanding emotional yes. journey. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah, because that's something I work very hard at with uh, the actors to make sure that they don't become basket cases by the end of a show if you've got something really emotive. Absolutely, yeah. And it's really, really important that actors take a grip on that early and mm. start to look after themselves at an early stage. Otherwise, it's a habit you don't get into. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, and what other shows have you been in previously? So, it's, it's been... Uh, fairly busy year, mm. and uh, I've been in a couple of short films just recently, one, both really great projects with fantastic people in them, uh, My Darling Alex, which hasn't been finished yet, the director's looking for a house to set fire to, if you have one. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> uh, that's, I play a criminal drug lord, terribly nasty guy, <laughs> um, I meet a horrific end, and have my jaw ripped off, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, so that was a lot of fun, and then at the other end of the spectrum, I play a magician, oh. who is a really, really lovely chap, mm -hmm. and gets on an early stage dementia, and it's really about the decisions that his family has to make, mm -hmm. and that his family are trying to make at the same time. So yeah. it's quite heavily in the news at the moment, and there's an awful lot of myths and rubbish around that kind of stuff. So it's yeah. a really, really interesting film to make. Yeah, yeah. Then. Um, Rather in line with, with misery and death, I seem to be dying a lot. I just recently played Macbeth, uh, sorry, Macduff in Macbeth. <laughs> so my entire family is destroyed. And then uh, Jason in Medea, in which my entire family is destroyed. Uh, so and you're about to play Herd of Elephants. Herd of Elephants, Zakum, where I'm about to get a grisly end. And your family. And my entire family is about to be destroyed. Not quite entire, but quite a few of them. So you can see that emotionally looking after oneself is not a bad idea. No, no. Well, there you have it. Yes. In a nutshell, everyone around me dies <laughs> gruesomely. Of course, with the, um, with the elephants, um, they're a very aware creature. And they've got this very similar number of neurons in their minds as we do. And they actually have as many, if not more, of the neuron neurons that are the, the social cells mm. that make possible for uh, compassion, grief, shame, all of these. And, um, and they have to live with these poachers coming out and killing them yep. on a regular basis. And you can imagine what that does to their families mm. and, and to each you know, individual elephant in there just having performed that sort of situation as an actor. Um, have you done much research into, into how Zakun feels about things? <laughs> well, why don't we go into what you have what I, what read I know about exactly. elephants okay. and, and, what, and, what, you, and so, uh, what has connected with you. So, I think when you first sent the script, I loved it because it's, it's an urgent situation and things need to happen, things need to be done we have these amazing sentient creatures. Not just elephants, but a whole range of animals, but there is a plight for mm -hmm. the elephants, where as you say, they're constantly being poached and with markets growing. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of those markets is a, is a massive Asian market that's just grown because there are many more uh, people with middle class incomes. They can afford some of these things that they have built this myth around mm -hmm. that if you, you own this, you're lucky or it is a show of status and wealth, or you will be more potent if you have parts A and B of the elephant, which of course means mm. those elephants will get slaughtered. Mm. And that's happening now. Now, they were already in a bad state as it was. So when I read your script and was looking at um, whether it struck a chord with me or whether what was gonna motivate me to get involved, it was, it was purely that. Mm. I, you cannot look at, at a zoo, you can't look at elephants without realising that they're sentient creatures. Yeah. I've seen some terrible footage um, recently of what they're going through, and even in zoos where we really are trying to look after them and preserve them, and that's, that's the narrative we're given. 
then I saw a terrible zoo uh, yeah. over in the States where an elephant was just yeah. moving backwards and forwards, rocking yeah. in a state of, of misery. Yeah, oh, I know. If this play raises some awareness, mm -hmm. if it pulls on a few heartstrings, and it makes a few people connect with a bigger picture, then it will have done its job. Yeah, um, definitely. That's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and it's important that it does, I think. It's yeah. incredibly important. Yes. Well, that's why we're wanting to, to release it. Hmm. And uh, last night, we had a lot of people, uh, we had our opening for the crowdfunding yep. last night, and people were just going, yes, and um, the computer dudes really got it because of open source. I hang out with a lot of open source software people and That's they knew good. exactly what I was on about, yeah. which is great because then they could help communicate it to the people who are unfamiliar with uh, things like open source and creative commons. Yep. So. And the thing about it is it, it, the, the people who will come originally will already be on board. They will yeah. already be, will have their vote. They're right behind this. They know what's going on. They're yeah. well informed. And the challenge is always to get the friends, the brothers, the sisters, mm -hmm. the other people who are kind of on board with it, mm -hmm. suddenly have a greater insight and suddenly realize that affects me. Mm. That's not just, here's a beautiful creature, let's save it, yeah. or isn't it pretty or whatever, but this is, this is a knock on with the ecology. This is something that once it has affected this creature, it will affect another one. I mean, there are, yeah. there are thousands of creatures about to become extinct. Yeah, yeah. And it's being driven by our needs, which we're, we're marketing and we're making greater, they're not really needs at all. No, no. 